Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at JK's second big game in a row. Versus the Browns Saturday, he had 13 carries for 125 yards, a couple of big runs. You can tell his, his knees getting better. You, you'll be able to see it through these clips I show you via his cuts. And um, his vision is better than ever. Um, the fact that he is not 100% healthy with two healthy legs, his vision is doing more than making up for it. Putting him in the right position, allowing him to make cuts that uh, consequently, you know, result in big games. Big gains, rather. Let's roll the intro and see what J.K. was all about. Now let's start with the first play. You get a lot of counter, a lot of counter wind back from the Ravens. I mean, we run the same play. We just give you different looks on it, but it, eventually it's the same play. We got about three running plays that be run good, and they hit you with it. But the good part of this is, is look at everybody. Look at everybody's blocking assignment first. Let me get you back to that. So you can get your down blocks by everybody up front with the exception of Moses and uh, Lindebaum. And I'll tell you a little nuance to this. They got a three technique, and Zyla's going to block back on that three technique. But if they had a one technique, um, Lindebaum would block back, and then these two would pull. But then, so they just kind of alternate pulling based off where the technique is. And I'd rather have Lindebaum pulling than Zyla in a way because Lindebaum is better on his feet, and Moses is a lot better on, on these type of blocks than, than people give him credit for. But, again, you'll see it. He got a hat on the hat. And you'll see from the cuts that his knee's better. Got a head on the hat. All seven blocks, head on the hat. This is what you, you can ask for any run play. Boom. Look at that cut. Look at that cut. Another cut. He's. It looked a lot more fluent this week than it did last week. Let's go to the next play. Now, you're trying to run ISO, and that's the guy we're trying to ISO. So, basically, you're trying to get Ricard one-on-one versus number 54. So, everybody that's going to have either, if you've got like a tweener, tweener blocks right here, you're going to double to something. Zyla, you're probably going to double back on that to that linebacker, and that way they're going to double that to him, and that way uh, Ricard can go one-on-one -on -one with 54. That's what you're trying to get. Then it's up to JK to find daylight. And so you get that, you get your down block, you get that block out, you get the double here to there. So now you got 54, one-on-one -on -one with Ricard. And J.K. has to um, sift that out and use his vision to cut off, make the right cut. So you, you, got, the, you got the blocking you need. You got that, you got that, you got this double probably working up there. You got a block here. So the O-line done a great job for the past two, two games. Look at the cuts. Start with this one. Watch this little jump cut. Mm hmm. Now another little cut to get through there. And after after the long run versus uh well last week that long run I I felt like he was risking his knee still going out there because I felt like he was dragging his leg. But to see what another week of recovery and rest looked like, I, I'm starting to think he knew what he was doing. I'm just gonna get counter again, but this time the vision is gonna the vision is gonna come into play. So you get your pullers with um, and again, like I told you, now they got one technique. So this time Lindenbaum will block down and Zaitla will pull and uh, Moses will pull. And it's if he was here, Lindenbaum will pull again. But they they do a good job of you know letting the easier guy pull because this is an easier down block for Lindenbaum. It'll be hard for him to block a three take way out here trying to just come flat down the line. Now, at this point right there, there's this is opening up, but how can he even see that? He anticipates it. He's going to hit that spot right there. Good job by Moses. The left, left cut. Again, another little cut, which is, you know, these are little things that make me think his knee's getting healthier. So they would stick that foot in the ground and change directions. And fall forward for another five using the forearm bar. Again, his knee's slowly getting better. Vision has never been better. And actually, I think his vision has to be better because of 
his um need not be a hundred percent. So now you're gonna get a little um split zone. You got you see all your five linemen blocking to the their right. You're gonna get recalled coming back side to cut off anything off Stanley's butt. So you got a hat on the hat. You got Stanley about to engage with, with 54. But at this point, you're thinking, like, where would he go? The good thing about it is Stanley's going to scoop up 54. He's going to scoop him up and kick him outright. Then you're going to get Ricard. It's going to log the guy that's crashing down. And so now you'll get a, a, a natural alley from the hit. And I'll stop it on that natural alley. So you get the log right here. So he's going to push him down. You get Stanley, you know, root him out. And now here's the alley that's forming right there. He pins right off of it. He hits it right off Ricard's block. Like right off his butt. You can't ask for it to be better. He don't get a lot of yards out of it, but it's the vision. It's the patience. It's the it's the knowing the blocking scheme and being able to hit right behind it. Like soon as it presents the alley for you to hit, hit it. Cause a lot of times if if you get this and you have to see it like once it happens, the defenses are so fast they close it up. That's why you gotta hit them. As soon as they open up. And he does that. Because, you know, as soon as it opened up, the defense closed it up. But J.K. does a good job of hitting it and almost seeing it before it opens. Then taking the, the advantage of it. Another little ice, a version of the draw ISO. So, again, trying to isolate Ricard on 54. And then get some of the, maybe some edge guys or somebody out of there with this pump fake, like the, the quick screen, which we never throw. So I don't know why we keep faking that because we never throw that. But again, got that, got that. Taking care of this. See, the O-line did a good job. Now you actually got your isolation, and it's going to be up to JK to make a cut off of Ricard's block. Carl got a good job. Andrew's trying to wash down, but look at him starting to make this jump cut. That's this. These are the reasons I know that knee's getting better. Look at that. Then look at that cut. Look at those two jump cuts. That's upper level right there. Bam. Vision helped though. But again, seeing that, sticking his foot in the ground, getting up on that. Again, knee's getting better. Vision has never been better. You get power read now. This, and normally we get power read, you get shuffle, shuffle, and then the, the quarterback will take off. But this time we actually give it. And I'm going to tell you why we give it, because we actually read 40 right. 40 is the read guy. You see all your blocking schemes up there. You see Zeitler's going to pull the 54 to play side backer. 40 is your read guy. And he's going to try to take the mesh point. But him coming straight at them is an automatic give because he can't come straight at them and then – Stick his foot in the ground and get this this motion coming across. He can reach for it, but it's going to be really impossible for him to change direction and do it. See, it's just it's almost humanly impossible to come hard this way, take one step and be that way with this guy going full speed. So that's why you give it. Now, with that being said, you got a lead blocker out here in Andrews. You got another receiver out here, but you also had a safety over Andrews. And instead of Andrews going to safety, he kind of cracked down on the first threat, which I understand. And you have your John Johnson out there, you know, really making him cut back. But again, good read. Good read by Huntley. Good job to make something happen by, by J.K. Because again, he didn't necessarily had a burst. He necessarily had a burst. But he's still getting you solid contribution almost every snap. Now on this one, you're going to get a little something different. You see Snoop motion, you're going to get a motion come in. And you're going to get your same counter play. But this time you're going to have the receiver kind of in the blocking scheme. So you're still going to get a pull by um, Zeitler and Moses because you got the one tick instead of the three. So you're going to get that blocked down by Linderbaum. It's an easier block for him. We just talked about it. But when you add, I think it's D-Rod that's going to come in motion, you get an extra blocker on this thing. You see, it didn't pan out like you initially wanted because you this would normally be your kickout guy. That would normally be your kickout guy. But he kind of running himself out to play. Ricard's trying to make sure he does that. But what, what, what you get because of that is you get two linemen, one here, one here, on a linebacker and a DB. You'll take that every time. 
You'll take it every time. See those two guys that's highlighted? One's going to get picked up by Zyla. One's going to get picked up by Moses. While JK just hit it right behind it with D-Rob. See, now you got D-Rob in the picture too. Here's D-Rob right here. You got Zyla making that block. You got uh, Moses about to kick out, I think this is Newsom. And he hit it right off of it. Now, see, he's he's in that. He could hit that. He could hit that too, but you got an extra guy. And that's why I say this vision come in. Because how quickly you got to notice you got an extra, you got a lead blocker here that's unblocked, and you best to get behind him. And now, see, in perfect position. Now, I don't know if D Rob going to block nobody, but he's in perfect position. Set it all up. Now he got a lead blocker in open space. Now you kind of half ass blocked him. But you get the picture. You get a fake jet sweep, which really ain't no fake because these cats barely move. 51 moves enough, I guess, to respect it. You get your down blocks. You get Oliver missing. So right at this point right here, he can't cross color. If he gets his block, you got a hat on a hat. But he can't cross color because it's just, that's a rule. So now he got to pick him up. But good job. Look like Oliver adjusts and goes there, though. So that's a good job by Oliver. Realizing he missed and picking up the next guy. Now, who missed on his down block? Ricard missed on his down block. This is where the play kind of gets messed up at when it's on his down block. 42 versus 42. He got him good. Got him in a good spot. Got him in a good spot. Let him roll up. Oh, that wasn't Ricard. That's a good block by Ricard. I'm sorry. Ricard's block is so good that he knocks Stanley off of his guy. And this is the guy that kind of fold back into the play right here. Ricard do a hell of a job of blocking him down. But he does so good, he knocks Stanley to the ground and 94 is able to come off. J.K. sees it. At the last minute, he, he doubles up on the ball so he won't fumble. Then goes even lower to that 94 whiffs. Look at that. And because of that whiff, that's another five yards. Telling the vision is, is how, what in your brain tells you to just duck under a tackle and not even a, a snaps, uh, not even that fast? Because you barely saw him and your instincts just took you to, to duck under. Elite vision. Elite vision. And in this play right here, just just watch, like, don't worry about the, the play. Just watch J.K. himself. Watch the cuts. And he couldn't do this last week. And if he could, it looked like a struggle. You'll get two good jump cuts that, that lets me know that knee's getting healthy. That plant, that plant. And then get up get up here now. Though, just something that simple. Being able to jump cut makes the world for, for a running back. And I, he didn't look like he can do this last week. So the rehab must be going good. Hopefully, whatever he did this week, he can kind of, you know, do the same thing and be even that much better come Saturday. But this was his best play to me right here. We'll end it with this one. Again, you're getting your same play, your counter. And because they got a three technique, you know, Linda Bum's going to pull. If they had a one, Zyla would pull. So you learn something new about the, about the counter play this week. So with, with that guy being in the three, Linda Mom's going to pull. Moses is going to pull. Everybody else should have down blocks. Cut off. Down block. Down block. Double team to 40. Stanley or whoever this is should be coming off to 40. Oh, Ricard got it. Okay, Ricard got it. Get a kick out right here by Zyla, which you should get. And then you should get Moses taking on that backer. Now, at this point, where do you think he's going to go? You kind of see a little spot right there, but, you know, that's that's tough for to stick that foot in the ground and get right there. And even if so, Delp is sitting right there to fill on it. Or 97 sitting right there to fill on it. Now his vision going to come in come into play again. Just watch. There's really nowhere for him to go. Again, where, where is he going to go? They, the Browns have really fit this up. Look at that. Remember I said he sees it and he hits it as it's opening? There's really no opening. Now it's starting to open. And he's in it as it opens. Again, take this back. Like, there's really nowhere you see for him to go from the naked eye.
but he sees the block in front of him happening and he hits it as soon as the hole open he's through it now again he don't have a burst to finish these yet now he looks like he's dragging that leg a little bit but again look at this cat you see the face mask right there you see the face mask should have been an extra 15 yards he reaches for it don't throw it them dudes sometime in the nfl they 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 crazy but again i appreciate you guys for coming through if this is your first time here and you like what you saw, please like the video. The like helps us in the algorithm. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that bell so you can be notified when these random videos drop. So again, I appreciate you guys for coming through. Um, all the links that are in the description, there are links for to if you want to donate via however you want to donate. There's a link to buy merch. The store is back up and running. So please do so. Um, however you want to contribute, please do so. And if you don't, don't feel obliged to do so. But I thank you for coming out. Um, enjoy this pre-Christmas um film study uh, if i don't if you don't see another video this week i want to make sure i say merry christmas to you already but i'm sure you'll be back to watch the rest of them round table tonight at nine more videos coming later in the week i appreciate you man peace